Over in the United States, uh, the Donald Trump administration is working on a stricter and more streamlined order of immigration ban on nationals from Muslim-majority countries. Our EG1 zooms in on what could be a prelude to another round of chaos. U.S. President Donald Trump is set to reissue an executive order banning entry to the U.S. of nationals from seven Muslim-majority countries as a means to head off attacks by Islamist militants, as confirmed on Saturday by the U.S. Secretary for Homeland Security, John Kelly, at the Munich Security Conference. The president is contemplating uh, releasing a tighter, uh, more streamlined version of the first DO. Uh, and we will have uh, this time opportunity, I will have opportunity uh, to work a rollout plan uh, in particular to make sure that there's no one in a sense caught in the, in the system of moving from overseas to our airports, uh, which happened on, on the first release. The order is expected to be released as early as next week and is likely to keep last month's order of imposing a three-month entry ban on residents from the predominantly Muslim countries of Iraq, Syria, Iran, Sudan, Libya, Somalia and Yemen. But the new order is said to admit green card holders who are permanent U.S. residents and travelers already on planes bound for America. The initial order stirred protests around the world, drew criticism from international leaders, and wreaked havoc at airports across the U.S. The new order is said to take into account the criticisms and problems of the last order to minimize the legal hurdles. The first one was blocked by a federal judge in the state of Washington a week after coming into effect, and two days later, an appeal by the Justice Department was also rejected by a federal appeals court. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.